Hey guys, Skylar here. So I want to do a hopefully quick video. I say that every time, but it's never really quick. But I was a bit of a suburban soccer mom last night, and I went to Target for some clothing because I just wanted some more, a um, couple t-shirts and then some things. Yeah. So I got two t-shirts, two raglan shirts, raglan because it's food length, a sweater type item, a jacket, and some shoes. So I almost kind of have a complete outfit in a sense. Uh, oh no, I got some jeans too. Where are my jeans? Hold on, I didn't grab my jeans. Okay. There we go. So now I have jeans. So I got two shirts, two t-shirts, two raglans, a pair of jeans, a thermal type shirt, really more waffle knit, not really thermal, it's a waffle knit shirt, a sweater, jacket, and a pair of shoes. So that's that's a good amount. So I tend to have a full outfit. Uh, so let's start with the shirt. Um, so I'm very basic in what I select for shirts, because I, I work in a call center, and I technically am supposed to dress, dress business casual, but in reality I kind of just wear a t-shirt with a dress shirt over it, and just live my best life. Uh, so, because I generally like to use my dress shirt as the color of what I'm trying to do, I just got a nice basic gray undershirt. It's gray with dark gray lines, so it's very simplistic. Uh, I'll put it up here. I don't know if you'll see the lines very well, because it does blend together on camera. But it's just a nice basic shirt. I, um, so here's one of them. This was only like $10. Uh, and then I have yet another t-shirt, because every Friday I wear purple. So I just want a nice purple shirt, because I don't have many, and Target just has really nice shades of purple in their shirts. And it's almost like a lot of places don't want to get purple, and I don't know why. But it's just a simple purple white stripes, so, you know. Makes me happy. Moving on, I have some raglan shirts. So I already have like four of these, because they come in various colors. They're really freaking comfortable, but just a nice basic raglan. Technically it's not really raglan, because the sleeve doesn't isn't three quarters, but... It has the idea of it, the color blocking. So I like it. It does what I need. It's comfy, it keeps me warm for inside the building. Of course, outside you're gonna want a jacket or something. But I just like it, it's just simple. And they also launder really well, so that's the thing. But yeah, so that's one of them. And then I did get a second one because I like the color combination. So I'm not much of a yellowy mustard person, but I really like this with the gray. So I wanted to get it, because I have um, that blue and white, I have a coral and white, uh, black and gray, maroon and white, and then gray and white. So I really wanted the gray and yellow, because it just, it just looks nice to me. Yeah, I love these. They fit really well and they're really comfortable. And the one thing I like is actually the side, because it's slit up a little bit, so it's not just boxy on some people. It actually angles up, so it kind of cinches in that corner a little bit, the side of you. Which is nice, because I, I do have some love handles, so to have it kind of push it in is kind of nice. So it, it just lays nicely on you because of that, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, hopefully I'm not moving too quick, I just don't have a lot of stuff, and I don't want this to be a super long video, because along the video they'll speak about it. Watch it. Uh, so the next item I have is another purple shirt. Again, I love purple, it's my favorite color. So when I find stuff that's purple, comfortable, and looks nice, I want it. Uh, so they did have a waffle knit type shirt. Uh, I said thermal originally because that's typically what thermals have is a waffle knit. This is definitely not a thermal knit, but the nice, like, deep, rich purple. Uh, I don't know if I can color grade this to look nicely on camera. I'm not good at color grading, so I'm really sorry. You might have to go to the site to really see it better. But, yeah. So it's just, it's just a thick waffle nut. That's all it really is. But it feels soft, and I did put it on, and it, it 
I actually got rather warm in it last night. Uh, I had my space heater going, and I put this on, and I actually started sweating pretty quickly. Just because of the fact this is... It's quite thick. It, it, like, there's weight to it. If you go see this in person, you pick it up, there's a bit of weight. Um, so that's the only good thing, is that it's gonna keep you warm in the winter because it's a thicker shirt. But that, that's got some weight compared to the Raglan. But yeah, I, I love it. It's a nice purple. It'll look great at me at work. And I also like the button, because it's a bit, a bit of Henley almost there going on. So yeah, they definitely have a bunch of other colors, I just really like purple. Okay, so that's that. Alright, last of the tops is a sweater, just a simple gray sweater. So it has a, what's this, like a, what's the mock neck or cow neck or something like that, cow neck? I think it's a mock neck or whatever that's called, but it's just a simple gray sweater. Uh, this is cotton, a little bit of nylon, and then uh, oddly enough a little bit of wool, which I'm surprised for Target. It's a very small percentage. Um, oh, wait, no, I lied. I lied. The other sweater I didn't buy had the wool. This one has um, acrylic. So, basically, don't be near an open source of flame because you will burst into flames wearing this because it has acrylic in it. Um, which is fine. I don't know why we have to do that, but it's for the majority of it. It is it is majority cotton. Um, the acrylic and the what, and the polyester is just to make it soft. But I mean, it wasn't expensive. It was thirty dollars. So for some people, the material that's a little too expensive. For me, it's literally the style I want because it's just a simple collar. I can roll it back or a necklace. I can be happy in that. So yeah, and it's really soft. It does, of course, come in multiple colors. They have um, gray, blue, green, red, I think. That's about it. Other ones don't really work. I want the blue, but then I realized that with my green hair, it might look weird. And this is more of a neutral. But I like it. You know, look up close. It has, you know, the, the um, darker patches of gray in there. It is a bit see-through, so I will probably wear like a t-shirt underneath or something, because the collar does go up high enough to wear a t-shirt. Just so that way it doesn't show through. At least at work. In public, I don't really care. Alright. I had a guy come over for voting things, and please, one of those, please vote for this person, which I, yeah, not in the mood for that. Okay, like I was trying to freaking say. So I do have one huge con with Target Pants is that they run friggin' small. At least, in, for me, they run small. So, I'm a 31 to 32 waist for most brands of jeans. For Target, I'm a 34. Because uh, most of their jeans, they do slim fit, which is fine. I prefer slim fit, because it makes you look, in my case, it makes me look better. Uh, but I have to get a 34, otherwise I can't get my butt into them. Um, once I get it over my butt, I have plenty of room, but then I'm suffocating my thighs, so it's like, I, I don't understand. So, I do have to get larger pants. Um, but the length is just fine. But I saw these just simple, dark wash jeans. It's so hard, in my opinion, to find just simple, dark wash jeans. Um, they do have an interesting smell. That's the other thing. Target pants have a weird, like, chemical smell to them. So their color treatment process, there's just something about them. I don't know what it is. It's just this weird smell, and it takes a, a couple washes to get rid of it. But yeah, just, I... Like, you can just smell the dyeing process on here. It's horrible. So next up, I bought my first pair of shoes from Target's Goodfellow brand, and um, I never bought shoes from them before. Now, keep in mind, these were only $30, so they're not super high quality, they're not, you know, great, they're all, they're, it's just man-made, it's rubber and man-made material. And that's okay, because these are not shoes I'm going to be wearing in the winter, or shoes I'm going to be wearing in the rain. It's like, they're shoes meant for, like, it's, you know fall, it's a warm fall day, spring, summer, like, it's, it's made for dry days, and you know, kind of warmish. But they're just very basic, you know, brown pants, they have a nice little fake leather axe on the back. You can tell they're man-made, so when it cracks up here, you're, you're gonna have an interesting look. But they are pretty comfy, um, 
the padding isn't the greatest, but I didn't expect them to be. Uh, but I like the sole though, like the foot, like the tread is pretty cool looking in my opinion. I like that. And they put the sizing right on the bottom to make sure you don't have to look all over for them. But yeah, I do like them. They're just some simple brown shoes. Um, they'll go great with the black pants. And I could probably get over my jacket, maybe. Cause, but two different browns don't really work well. My jacket's like a dark brown. But yeah, they had these in gray, but they didn't have my size. They had half size down, but my foot was like right at the edge. It, that's that's not comfortable. I'm sorry, it's just not. But yeah, so I'm excited for these. This is Target's full leather jacket. Um, it's just a you know a dark brown. Um, it is fifty dollars, so it is very expensive. Um, the one thing I will say about faux leather jackets is it's not like a t-shirt or a pair of shoes. If you take care of it, it won't last a very long time. I have a faux leather jacket that I got at Kohl's in literally 2011. It's the first thing I bought me when I got my first full-time job. I went and bought a nice jacket. I couldn't afford a leather one, so I went and just got a faux leather one at Kohl's. Um, it's from Helix, I believe, which is a brand targeted towards like 18 to like 22 or so. Um, and I've had that, it'll be seven years in November I've had that. It has not torn, it has not um, faded, it has not cracked or anything, um, and it still feels just, what's that noise? Whatever, it still feels just like the day I bought it. Which is why I went and bought this, because it's very similar, but it has a bit more detail. I do like how it has the buckle collar. Um, let me see if I can zip this up. Give me a second here, guys. I'm really bad at this. Cause I'm not, I'm not like a fashion person, so... At least I don't consider myself fashion. There. But it has a buckle collar, so you can buckle it up. I don't think anyone would really do that, because I think that would look weird. So I'm pretty sure it's more just for accent than anything. But hey, I mean, if you're one of those people that want a booklet, you, you, you go girl, you do it. You do you, boo. You do you, boo. Right there, so you can, you can buckle it. I don't think I ever would, because I think it looks weird. That's part of why I thought, I just liked the collar detail. But it feels nice. Of course, it is leather, just like any fake leather jacket. Um, but I like it, because it has chest pockets that are actually pockets. It's got two side pockets, it has one pocket on the inside that's big enough to fit like a, a large phone, which is great because I actually like keeping that stuff in there. Uh, let me see if I can get this open again. Yeah, right here. Nice big old pocket. It definitely can fit a phone in there. It will stick out a little, but I mean, it will fit the majority of the phone in there. It's not meant to be, you know, dress up, you know. But I think for fifty dollars, it's fine. Like the one I got from Kohl's seven years ago, that was on clearance. It was twenty dollars. So to me, that's fine. That that's worth it. I still wear it. It's still comfortable. So I figure if I take care of this one the same way, that it will last in the same manner. Granted, it's a completely different brand because Goodfellow is Target's newer company they're going through for their clothing. So we'll see how that goes. But so far, you know. Certain items have higher quality, you know. So I'm hoping this lasts. Because for the I expect at minimum two to three years out of this. But I'm excited. So this is going to be my, my jacket for winter and late fall where I'm just wearing a hoodie underneath or something. But yeah, so that's my Target haul. Um, I'm pretty excited to wear all this stuff. Uh, today's an odd day because it is like 80 degrees out. Um, where yesterday was 50, and tomorrow's gonna be 50. So I don't know what's going on, but whatever. I got a lot to trim down. This is at like 26 minutes, so I got a lot of trim. But yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna take a little thumbnail, like so. I will see you guys soon, and uh, hope you have a good one. Bye.